a pile of cylinders, a thousand of them, uh, that we want to change into toilet paper rolls. And there we go. Look at that. Now we have a big pile of toilet paper of a thousand rolls. Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I am Justin and we have created this pile for our quarantine series, a pile of cylinders, a thousand of them, uh, that we want to change into toilet paper rolls. So uh, as beautiful as this pile of multicolored cylinders is, uh, we don't want that for our final uh, render. So obviously we want uh, to replace this with our toilet paper roll, which we can find right here, which is our original cylinder here, this one. Um, let's go ahead and enable that so we can see our selection. And I'm just gonna type in TP here. So we know that that is our toilet paper roll. This other cylinder up here, that's the cylinder that we used for these uh, piles here. That's the template for that. So I don't need that right now, but I'm gonna keep it because I might need it later. Okay, so if I come over here quick to material preview, you can see that um, that is our toilet paper roll that we made in our level one. So we're bringing it back in because we were we are going to transfer everything from this to all 1,000 of these all at the same time. And this is how you do it. So let's go back into solid shaded mode. And so I'm just going to right click on my pile uh, that has all of my cylinders. I'm going to select objects. You can see all of them are selected. And then I'm either going to control select the TP in the outliner or I'm going to shift select it here so that make sure that whatever object data you want to transfer is the active selection so you want to select that last then all you have to do is press Control l and it brings up this make links which is also up here object and then make links right here so it's the same thing and then select object data boom and now you can see that all of our mesh data has been transferred over here now before we get too excited and we and we do anything else, uh, I'm going to go back to object data. Actually, I'm just going to do control L. And then I'm going to also transfer over our modifiers. Now, you don't need to do this transfer UV maps because that is included in object data. Um, we will look at that in a later video. But for now, we're going to transfer our modifiers. So just transfer modifiers and boom. Now we have um, the subdivision surface modifier on each one of these individually. And you can see that just like that. And they're all uh, disabled here in the viewport. Everything is exactly how we have it. Actually, before we transfer, what I do need to say and emphasize is if you can, by any means, make sure your mesh is exactly how you want it before you transfer. Because it's a bit of a pain if you want to make things, make changes later and then transfer that again. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tab into edit mode and we're going to make sure that everything is the way we want it. So all of our mean crease, so the, the mean crease, you can see that's the, um, uh, let's see, let's deselect everything here. That's the purplish pink border that we have uh, right now. That is, if we select all, you can see that mean crease is at one. That means it's the sharpest that it can be. That's what that is. Um, we did that in another video. Uh, so if I come up here, and then I, let's uh, deselect everything. And then I come down here, you can see uh, if we turn off creases, we can see our sharps are, is next and that's the blue. And then uh, if we disable that, we don't have a bevel, so I can go ahead and disable that. And here are the seams for our UV map. So just make sure everything like that is the way you want it before you transfer. Now, this is not the way I want it before I transfer. I actually don't want the UV seams like this. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep it like this for now because I do want to show you eventually in another video how to go back and change your mesh and then transfer it over again because I had huge problems with that in the past. Now along with just the mesh here in the viewport, you want to make sure that any modifiers uh, are the way you want them. And for the subsurf modifier, I'm going to make sure that the real-time viewport display is turned off because when you transfer everything over, if that uh, subdivision surface is on all 1,000 of them, that's going to really bog down your system. And depending on your system, it could crash. So I'm going to leave that off uh, for now. But I'm going to keep the subdivision surface 
on here so that we don't have to add them a thousand times to each one individually. So the next thing that you want to make sure of is your object data or your mesh data, uh, any vertex group, shape keys, um, UV maps, definitely, especially your UV maps. Just make sure that they are the way you want them before you transfer. Um, and, you know, all of this good stuff here, auto smooth, 180, uh, anything down here. So for this tutorial, we are going to pretend we have everything or that we at least think we have everything that we want to transfer. So to see this uh, in our material preview, let's come over here. And that's a lot of white. So let's go ahead and disable our floor in the viewport. And there we go. Look at that. Now we have a big pile of toilet paper of a thousand rolls. And... Um, yeah, we haven't added any lighting and shading, of course, but that is how it's done. Now, the next step you want to do is you want to make sure um, each of these, let's go ahead and select these again, and then shift select. What you want to do, ideally, is um, come up to object, go to relations, and then make single user, and then we're going to select object and data again. But I'm not going to select this now, but what this does is it will unlink everything and basically make everything its own mesh and its own data. Now I'm going to actually do this in the next video uh, because there are some other things that I want to do first, but um, I'm going to show you what this does. So if you don't unlink it, so everything is still linked because when we did the control L, that's what that means. We linked this mesh data with all the rest of these. So if I just select this one and then I go into tab into edit mode, it goes into edit mode for all of them because again, they're all linked. And it's the same with any one of these that I select. So if I select this one at random, tab into edit mode, now they're all in edit mode. Um, it's also gonna be the same thing if you duplicate. So if I duplicate one of them, um, I believe, shift D. Okay, well maybe not, maybe not duplicate. But I know that um, there are certain, um, maybe modifiers, yeah. So if you apply certain modifiers, it'll, end up duplicating the entire thing. So that's why you want to unlink that object data. Now I did just realize I skipped a step. This is not the workflow that I want to do because I want to have something to fall back on with the cylinders in case we need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo all of that until we get back to our uh, cylinder, if we can. Here, how, I wonder if I, I wonder if I can now. There we go, yes. Okay, so back to our cylinder. Um, I'm just going to make a, another collection here and then call this pile TP MULT and you will see why I'm calling it that a little bit later, but I'm going to right click on this pile. We're going to duplicate the collection and the reason I'm doing it this way is because if I duplicate this entire thing, I've had some problems with that where it freezes and it crashes blender. So I'm just going to do it like this one at a time. Just drag this over to our pile multiple, our duplicate, and then our drag our floor over here. I'm just going to disable our pile cylinder. And this is so if we royally screw this up, we can disable that or delete it and then come back here we have our original pile of cylinders that we can start over. Now you don't have to do this. Uh, it's just the way I roll. <laughs> no pun intended. Actually, no, the pun was intended there. Toilet paper roll. <laughs> okay. I know it was lame. Uh, I'm a big fan of my dad jokes, even though I'm not a dad. Um, okay. So we got pile. I'm going to just rename this. It's always good to rename your stuff. Mult and then one. Okay. So quick recap. Select our objects. Shift select our original toilet paper roll, or we can control select in the outliner and then control L object data. And then again, control L don't forget our modifiers. And so now we should have all of our modifiers. And uh, also it, just to demonstrate this, um, let's get back our selection. Uh, if we enable this, uh, that's going to, if we come up here and choose wireframe, that's going to enable, so you see how we enabled it here. That's our subdivision surface modifier. That's a lot of geometry. If we right click on this and copy to selected, and it takes a while because it's a lot of geometry, but yeah, that is why you want to have that disabled because this, uh, depending on your system and your blender, it could crash. Uh, lots of information there. So disable that. 
right click, copy to selected, and then now all of them are disabled. Okay, and again, at this point, what you would ideally wanna do is object relations, make single user, and then object data. Now be careful, don't do object data and materials because unless you want a thousand different materials for each object, that's probably not gonna be practical or ideal. Also, you probably don't wanna do the materials like that in this instance, so just stick to object data. And there you go. So I'm not gonna do that right now, the object data or uh, unlink it because um, in the next video, I'm gonna copy this into another yet another pile Again, so we have something to fall back on. So anyway, uh, we will get that to that in the next video. So you'll see me over there.